Hi everybody, welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. Uh, the topic for today is click farms. You may have heard about this. Uh, okay, so what is a click farm? Well, recently there were some articles. Um, specifically, there was an article in ZeroHedge.com, but it was also carried by uh, um, several mainstream media websites. Uh, including the Daily Mail and another one in the UK. And there was a video uh, of what is purported to be a Chinese click farm. Uh, and that video looked like this. Место, где около 10 тысяч таких телефонов Okay. Okay, so the deal is that there was a Russian who went and investigated this, this Chinese click farm, and the whole idea is that there are these uh, companies that you can pay to basically give you likes and shares and that sort of thing and boost your your product in this case uh apps for mobile devices uh, they'll boost your they'll boost you on social media twitter facebook whatever um now of course this is zerohedge.com and people go ah oh, yeah but it's does that really happen is that is that really real no that's just that's just fake news right okay it turns out that there is, I have here in my hand, I'll put a link in the description, uh, it's a lovely paper called Online Human Bot Interactions Detection, Estimation, and Characterization. And this was a study done by Indiana University and the University of Southern California, both in the U.S. And it begins by, I'll just read a few little key excerpts here, just to, just to give you an idea of what's going on here. Uh, so it starts, Increasing evidence suggests that a growing amount of social media content is generated by autonomous entities known as social bots. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, our models yield high accuracy and agreement with each other and can detect bots of a different nature, of different natures. I think that's a spelling mistake. Our estimates suggest that between 9% and 15% of active Twitter accounts are bots. Um, now... This is a paper that was published March 27th of 2017, so just a few short months ago. Um, so they're estimating that up to 15% of Twitter accounts are actually bots. So this was a study done by two U.S. universities. So you read further along, there's a section called Estimation of Bot Population. Now it gets interesting. Uh, in a 2014 report by Twitter to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the company itself put forth an estimate that between 5% and 8.5% of their user base consists of bots. Uh, further along, it says... Uh, now here they're talking about the, the universities who did this study. They're talking about their, their models and their testing. And they write, Models trained using the annotated data set alone yield estimates of up to 15% of accounts being bots. Recall that the Honeypot dataset was obtained earlier and therefore does not include newer, more sophisticated bots. Some other remarks are in order. First, we do not exclude the possibility that very sophisticated bots can sy systematically escape a human annotator's judgment. These complex bots may be active on Twitter and therefore present in our datasets and may have been incorrectly labeled as humans, making even the 15% figure a conservative estimate. Second, increasing evidence suggests the presence on social media of hybrid human bot accounts, sometimes referred to as cyborgs, that perform automated actions with some human supervision. Some have been allegedly used for terrorist propaganda and recruitment purposes. Right, and, and what does that make you think of? <clears throat> because fake news 
you know? Um, for example, a, a recent U.S. presidential election where the media was talking about Hillary's going to win, Hillary's going to win. Uh, everything on social media was Trump is evil, Hillary's going to win, we all love Hillary. And then the election comes and Trump wins and all of a sudden everyone's going, what the hell just happened there? Everyone was voting for Hillary. Right. Now, I know, I know. That's all, that's all the Russians, right? It's, it's, it's the evil Russians in collusion with evil Trump. And they're all evil and conspiring together. And Okay, well, let me, as long as we're, we're throwing out you know, crazy conspiracy theories here, you know, uh, I was going to go for a picnic yesterday, but I couldn't go because it ended up raining because of those damn Russians, right? Everything is the Russians' fault. Okay, so let me throw out my own crazy conspiracy theory there. Um, the reason the Democrats and others are throwing out all these accusations of rigging is because that's exactly what they tried to do using things like click farms. I, that sounds crazy, right? Except how do you explain the fact that everyone, you know, everyone was going to vote for Hillary. Everybody loved Hillary. Social media, it was everywhere. Mainstream media, it was everywhere. And yet Trump won. And we're supposed to believe it's because the Russians interfered in the election, even though that there's no proof that they did so. And yet here we have, we have a video of things like Chinese click farms. And then here we have a paper by two U.S. universities saying, oh, by the way, probably more than 15% of Twitter accounts are fake. And they're being used, uh, at, they're basically bots that are using to, they're used to artificially uh, promote certain ideas, uh, certain products. Then we have the recent news that uh, Mark Zuckerberg, founder of Facebook, uh, is apparently very unhappy with the way that Facebook is going. Of course, we're not sure if he's unhappy because everyone isn't playing nicely and holding hands and singing Kumbaya together, or if it's because their censorship of certain things, um, removal of fake news, which is not always necessarily the removal of fake news, but sometimes the removal of real news, as far as I can tell, is not going the way that he planned, and so, uh, yeah, so, so you have Twitter, and you have these click farms, and what you have to realize is that this is ba basically marketing, Edward Bernays style, taken to a ridiculous extreme. Why is it that there are so many social media sites and startups, and some of them become successful and some of them don't? Um... I would suggest that um, it's not just because one guy was better than the other. It's, you know, I know that's crazy, but, you know. Fifteen percent of Twitter accounts, at least, are probably bots, and they're smart bots. And sometimes you can't even tell that it's not a human. Bots sharing news stories, bots promoting certain people, certain products. How do you know anymore what it is you're actually... I mean, unless it's someone you know, who's actually, you know, someone you know in real life who's sharing something and talking about it, uh, you don't even know that that's a real person. And then we sit around and wonder what the heck's going on, and when things don't go our way, well, clearly it's Russia's fault. So the point is to always keep in mind that, yeah, social media is great, right? In, in many respects, um, it's great and it's not. It's not great because instead of sitting around um, on a porch drinking lemonade and talking with your friends in real life, you're sitting there at a restaurant uh, with your friends or family and you're all staring at your smartphones and you know texting each other and you, you don't even have any real social interaction anymore that's obviously not good uh, at the same time you have social media where you can actually uh, spread information and that's good right 
But then also at the same time, you have these systems that are clearly in place, and it's not just Twitter. It's Twitter and Facebook, and I mean, come on, let's be real. And it's not just China. I mean, of course, this is a Chinese click farm. You know, it's, it's the damn Chinese, just like it's the damn Russians, you know. We Americans, we don't use click farms. Right. Do you remember, you know, Edward Snowden revelations, WikiLeaks Vault 7, you know, things that you didn't believe, and then you go, oh, wait, yeah, it is happening. Yeah, yeah, I knew that all along. It's, yeah, everybody's doing it. Um, yeah, so there you have it. Click Farms. Whatever. <laughs> for more techie, techie tips, see Scotty's Tech Info. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.